Good morning, lovely sunny morning, uh, Saturday, the 9th of April 2022. Yes, day 34, and the theme is the man who called Mary's name, and sub theme is grief overturns. And we will start with reading John 20, verses 11 to 18. Mary Magdalene feed the risen Lord. But Mary stood outside by the tomb, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabuni, which is to say, teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. And according to Jim and Jamie Dutcher, filmmakers known for their knowledge of wolves when happy wolves wag their tails and romp about. But after the death of a pack member, they grieve for weeks. They visit the place where the pack member died, showing grief by their drooping tails and mournful howls. Grief is a powerful emotion that we've all experienced, particularly at the death of a loved one or a treasured hope. Mary Magdalene experienced it. She had belonged to Christ's supporter and traveled with him and his disciples, as we see in Luke 8, verses 1 to 3. But his cruel death on the cross separated them now. The only thing left for Mary to do for Jesus was to finish anointing his body for burial, a task the Sabbath had interrupted. But imagine how Mary felt upon arriving at the tomb and finding not a lifeless, broken body, but a living savior. Though she hadn't at first recognized the man standing before her, the sound of her name spoken by him told her who he was, Jesus. Instantly, grief turned to joy. Mary now had joyful news to share. I have seen the Lord, John 20, verse 18. Jesus entered our dark world to bring freedom and life. His resurrection is a celebration of the fact that he accomplished what he set out to do. Like Mary, we can celebrate Christ's resurrection and share the good news that he is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Questions for reflection. When have you experienced sadness turning to joy? Who can you share the good news of Jesus with? This week. And it's good to listen to our song for today, which Remember Me, it says. Isaac Watt, the author of Alas and Did My Saviour Bleed, was born in the 17th century. So these lyrics are old. But we must never think that old means redundant, useless or irrelevant. A thoughtful and careful analysis of these words reveals an incredible depth of insight into the suffering and death of Jesus. In the first verse, he is incredulous that the Lord should suffer and die for someone like him. He even describes himself distastefully as a worm, 
possibly a reference to Psalm 22, verse 6. The second verse, his incredulity becomes an acknowledgement of such amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. Then in the third verse, he grasps the enormity of the Lord's sacrifice before concluding with an outpouring of the love in his own heart to the Lord who loves him so much. The words, remember me, occur four times in the chorus. This seems like an echo of the heartfelt cry of a broken man who hung on a cross next to Jesus. He had a broken body and a broken spirit, the fruit, it seems, of a broken life. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom, he said. When Jesus replied with a promise of paradise, he ensured that man would indeed be remembered forever. We close with our prayer for today. Jesus, I celebrate your resurrection and the new life I can experience in you. Amen. Amen. Wishing you all a blessed day and enjoy the sunshine.